Hi everyone, it is April 11th, 2015. I have been really busy just with ministry work and I've been doing a lot of praying the last couple of weeks just about everything and especially about what's going on over there in the Middle East with all that's breaking out and we should always keep Israel in our prayers, amen? But yes, I've been really, you know how you get that unction in the Holy Spirit where it's just like, there's something that, that the Lord wants to speak to you. There's something that's being drawn out within you. And as I was praying, I felt that unction from the Holy Spirit, and I received some words that I'm going to repeat. And as always on this channel, I ask all to please pray about any words that you hear from this ministry. Always take the words to prayer to the Lord and receive your own confirmations. And that is with any ministry. That is with anything online. You are always to go to the Lord. You are not to go to man. You are not to go to woman. You are to go to the Lord and seek his truth and only his truth. Because that's where our truth lies, is with God. So with that, again, please pray about the words that you're about to hear. And these are the words that I received. The one who walks in the sinful nature has not crucified the flesh. Sin reigns foremost in their inner man. Earthly desires, pleasures, and glory take precedent over eternal glory. Blessed are you who do not repay evil for evil, for you are righteous in the land. Perseverance, endurance is only obtained in maturity with your walk with me, the Holy One of Israel. America, O oh America, I hear the people's cries. Judgment is coming, they say, from the Almighty. Your judgment, America, has entered long ago when you had forsaken me, the Creator of all. Sins crept in from the north, south, east, and west. A remnant I find in the land who arises against the sins. O oh, America, your tolerance for evil, for wicked abominations, is known far and wide. My holy word commands, raise the child up in the ways of the Lord, though a generation has been taught against my holy word. Nothing new under the sun. O oh, America, the streets are filled with rebellion of the youth. Violence, chaos, hatred, and lust. The commandment was broken long ago. You are reaping what you have sown. Turmoil is fueled with citizens of the land. Yet you cast blame. You proclaim we have been invaded by evil afar. America, arise and see your sins. Broken homes, wayward sons and daughters. No direction of counsel do they find. Repent, O ye fathers, repent, O ye mothers, for breaking my holy commandment. Turn, turn from your calloused hearts. Rescue the youth from the enemy's traps. Train and counsel them in my ways. Witness the restoration of the youth. Arise, men, do not forsake your positions in the home. If you cannot lead your family, how will you lead a nation to repentance and salvation unto me? Arise from your slumber and idle hands. There is much work to do in the land. Your seeds bear no fruit. They fall by the wayside or on stony ground. My people, my people, break free from the bondages that the world entraps. A revival is needed in the land. My grace is sufficient. Call unto me your God. I shall make the way straight. Continue in your slumber and self-serving glory and greed. The land will be turned to waste. Open your eyes. Form your steps in the ways I have commanded. Perilous times are upon you. Those who are called by my name shall shine in my glory. Repent of your sins. Repent, O ye nation. Seek me, seek me now. Armies are forming, the enemies encamp. Oh, so many are too blind to see. Blessed are you who stand firm in righteousness. Blessed are you who walk in peace. Blessed are you who are humble before me. 
Blessed are you who seek holiness. Blessed are you whose hearts are pure, for your shelter is found in my mighty power, in my eternal love. Woe to the troublemakers, wicked in motives, gossipers and lovers of self. Your shelter will be as a tent, blown away with the winds. Your seeds were not planted in good soil. Repent now and return to me, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Repent ye all, for your redemption draws nigh. And that was the end of the message. I will have this up on the ministry site of HeedTheMessage.com. The link will be below in the description box for those of you that like to have the written transcription typed out for you. And it's also, um, you can download it through PDF. Again, please take these words. Please take these words to prayer. You know, in the past, I have repeated the words that I have received in the Spirit. And what I've done is I've pretty much like given my own opinion or have given a sense of what I thought, you know, and touched base on a couple of things. And in my prayer time for the last couple of weeks, the Lord has instructed me to just speak forth the message, and that's all that needs to be done, that I'm to leave myself out of it and only have the word spoken, and for you to take it to prayer. So amen to that. So I also want to bring up about the homeless ministry. I have not spoken about, um, I haven't been up, you know, speaking about the homeless ministry for, I think it's two months now. So I want to bring to your attention, and I'm going to show you a few uh, clips here of what has come in last month to the homeless ministry, and that's through the donations through the P.O. Box. And this is through people that have gone through, you know, the garages or have, you know, gone garage sailing too, which is a great idea. And also, um, they've purchased, you know, a few things also. So I thank you all that have donated these items to the homeless ministry. They were greatly, greatly appreciated and greatly needed because we still have, you know, the cold nights here. Spring has not sprung yet here in Illinois. So for those of you that can, if you are able to financially, if you can please help to, for me to put together the care packages for the homeless ministry that I do give out. That has not stopped. I have continued on no matter what has happened, no matter what has come against me. I'm not going to stop doing what God has called me to do. And um, I'm just asking you, if you can help, it would be greatly appreciated. Your prayers, if you cannot help financially, your prayers are greatly needed because these people need your prayers. The homeless, you know, I know a lot of you have done your own thing in your own communities as far as giving out to the homeless because you've gotten the idea through this ministry and praise God for that. You know, it, that's what this whole thing was about was to make it like a domino effect out into your own communities and leaving things in your car so that when you see someone, you can give them out. Amen? And those of you that have written in and told me that you never saw what you saw before by now going forth and giving out items about the pain and the suffering that really is going on here in America. We know what's going on in the Middle East. We know what's going on in third world countries. But here on American soil, where it shouldn't be, it just shouldn't be. We have so many blessings in this land. And there are so many people that are richly blessed that don't, that don't care, I want to say. I'm just going to be blunt. That don't care. They have the means and they don't care. And I have learned that through speaking with the homeless, through speaking th through them, them telling me their stories about how they can see people, you know, drive up with nice cars, per se, and they're dismissed. They're invisible. So you guys, what you have been doing through this ministry to help them, you don't know the impact that you have made in these people's lives. And as I noted in another, you know, past video, 
that on the new ministry side, it's not another site that I'm putting up. It's I'm I, what I'm doing is expanding because I don't have enough room on heedthemessage.com. So what I'm doing is expanding the site. That's all that's happening. And I'm linking it up with By His Grace Ministry here on YouTube to byhisgraceministry.com. So there's no multiple sites out there. And um, once that is done, like I mentioned, I'm going to be throwing up a bunch of clips because I have this documentary that I'm working on. And now I do have the capabilities of putting this documentary together. And I will just leave it at that. Before I did not, now I do. And that's going to be at least two, two and a half hour documentary with all the footage that I have. But in the meanwhile, I'm going to be putting up short clips on the new ministry site so that you guys can get an idea of what's out there and what's happening. And yes, I paid much attention to this right now because I have not spoken about it and it needs to be spoken and it needs to be brought to the light again because there are people that are suffering on our streets and they are our brothers and sisters. So many are Christians and so many have come to Christ. And you know what? I want to say it's not so much through your giving as far as me being able to give out what you've donated, like through, like I said, your through the garage, your garages and your homes, but it's the love. They're seeing the love. And when I put up these clips and, and I tell them, I'm like, don't thank me, thank the people. And they're waving in the camera, thanking you for what you've done to help them. I know that it's going to touch your hearts because it's deeply impacted my life and my family's life. So that's all I wanted to touch base on that. And I wanted to really just express it because it hasn't been spoken of for a while. So again, with this message, the transcription link will be in the description box below where you click show more. All information to the ministry site and everything will be below. And um, that link will be there when this is uploaded. So I thank you all very much for listening. I love you all and God bless you.